Welcome back guys. This got dropped off the other day. It's a tree baler. The guy says my neighbor is a tree farmer and uh, he said he usually switches out spark plugs and it runs fine but this time switching out spark plugs didn't work. So let's try starting it up out here see if we can get it to do anything. The other other clue we had he said it when he ran it sounded like a wet fart so take your guesses now what's gonna what's gonna happen here let's see if we can try starting it it feels like there's compression. See if we can get some starting fluid in here and see if that will make it run. Maybe we got some bad gas. Let's try some starting fluid. Okay, let's check for spark. Oh. <laughs> this is this is the part where you when you're not in your shop and you're working somewhere else, you're gonna walk back and forth a million times. Yep, there's definitely starting fluid on that spark plug. Tell me if you see a spark. I see nothing. In his uh, pile of parts he left, he does have a new spark plug here. <clears throat> like I said, he, he says that usually fixes it. Let's see if we get a spark now. That's definitely a spark. Strange, he said he tried a new spark plug already, but we obviously pulled out an old spark plug. Put this new one in and see if we can get it to run. All right, new spark plugs on. All the way. Switch is on. Well, this might be a short video. This spark plug that was all fouled up and wouldn't let the engine run had only a couple hours run time on it. There's a bigger problem going on. Let's take it to the shop. Yoink! Uh, yoink! So there's a lot of factors that can cause your spark plug to follow up within a couple hours. Um, oil getting into your um, cylinder from a, a blown head gasket, a bad fuel air mixture from your carburetor. Also it could be an ignition coil that has a weak spark that's not causing complete combustion and following up your spark plug. 
And that's why I want to go after first. Really, you could choose whatever you want to go after, but this is what I'm going after. Because I know I can test that ignition coil, and we'll get into that. So, let's get to it first. So now with the coil exposed, let's look at our handy dandy service manual. And we can test the primary side by putting a lead on the kill tab and then also on the iron core. And we're supposed to get a resistance of 0.6 to 0.9 ohms. So let's get, let's get that guy off. Put our meter to ohms. From here to here, not looking so good. It's out of limits right there. There's 0.9 ohms. Two point nine, which is higher resistance than what they call for. What's the other the secondary side we can test is to our spark going to our spark plug to the core. And that's supposed to be 5.6 to 6.9 kilo ohms. But I don't really want to detach it from the spark plug boot, which is going to add more resistance. Fifteen point three. So that adds up to about right because it does give you what the resistance of the spark plug boot is supposed to be, and that's seven point five to twelve point five kilo ohms. So if we add that to this resistance, that should be our total, and that falls within spec. But as far as from the kill tab, that goes to your kill on and off switch to the iron core. That's a bit sketchy. Enough to where I'm willing to try a new coil on here and see if that solves our problem. <clears throat> hmm. New ignition coil came in and it is not an actual Honda one which is what I would suggest to you is to get an actual Honda one. Especially with these type of components, with electrical components as such. Um, let's do our test, our resistance test again. So between the kill wire and the iron, Kind of bounces around, doesn't it? Around 2.4 to 3 something, and they want 0.6 to 0.9. It's already above. <laughs> it's already above the specs for resistance. Well, that's hilarious. However, it's new. We're going to trust it. We're going to install it. See what happens. That ripped a, a gasket on us. Dang it. <clears throat> Intake gasket ripped during that process. The interesting thing I'm finding while I'm getting the, the air gap between the ignition coil and the magnet is that this magnet is worn way down. There's an edge right here. <clears throat> so this air gap was probably incorrect. I don't know if these bolts got loose on it and that sucked in their igniter coil, but you can see where it was damaging that igniter coil. I wonder if that 
might have destroyed that this igniter ignition coil igniter coil forgive me I can only work and think at one at a time well we've got a new gasket for the one that ripped on us it's all cleaned up I swear to you the Honda manual says 0.7 millimeters which is absolutely massive um, other places on the island, I see 0.2 to 0.4 so we're gonna go for 0.2 just because I don't feel like 0.7 is way too big so let's correct that get this all back together slap it on the machine one thing that's happened since then we got eight inches of snow you, you can see my boy working at it getting the deck cleared off for me so all right, before we put our spark plug back in, let's make sure it's nice and clean and we know what it looks like. So when we hook this all up and run it for a couple hours and take it out, we'll know what our baseline is. And if it still looks cloudy or it falls up and dies, then we know that ignition coil was not the issue. Well, <laughs> she made it in the shop. Let's have it thaw out for a little bit and then let's put this motor on there. I'm feeling quite pampered. This is better than working in eight inches of snow. Really guys, if you've worked on cars or small engines or anything before, sometimes taking a little extra time to make your job more comfortable makes it that much better. If you remember this fuel line was harder than a carp, couldn't even pinch it off. So we are going to replace this while this is here. <laughs> Not much bend left in that guy. Oh my goodness. see what it looks like but uh I was talking to uh, an old timer from work and uh, I didn't take note of this when we first started diagnosing this but he said if you if the smoke is blue then it's oil might be a head gasket if the smoke is black like carbony then you're not getting a good burn in the cylinder so it could be the ignition coil like we just did or your carburetor is running too rich dumping too much gas in there and I didn't Suspect that because he does a good job with air filters and really this is this engine yeah it gets sprinkled with uh, pine needles every once in a while but I just don't see how that car could get messed up where it's mounted so let's pull that spark plug off and see what it looks like. Well look at that. Looks pretty clean to me, guys. Not sooty at all. I'm calling that a fix. Let's ship it out. Hey, thanks for watching.